Hey Aries Collective, happy Wednesday. I hope you all are doing amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, y'all, let's see what's going on. What's going on? So who's coming towards you? Whether that be in love or just in general, okay? I'm not specifically looking for love, but most of the time that's what's gonna come up, okay? <laughs> but if you're not looking for love, just find a way to flip it however you need to, okay? We're really looking for characteristics and the reason why they're coming. But, you know, obviously if I see people, signs, things like that, I will point them out. So let's start with some dogs. For you i like to get six and pull it exactly six who is this person okay you got somebody dr dramatic could be a leo we got some gambling going on some dice maybe this is a risk taker what else do we have here maybe, some, maybe somebody that drinks okay we have a bear could be somebody that's like big in stature uh, maybe a little overweight, heavy set, whatever you call it. We have a diamond and we have a handshake. Interesting. So this could be somebody you're meeting for the first time. Maybe um, this is not somebody you already know. Because obviously somebody coming towards you could be somebody you already know. Uh, maybe a Gemini with this gem being here. I just heard a firm handshake. This could be a business deal for some of you. Somebody could be looking to buy some jewelry. Oh. You could be looking to buy some jewelry or maybe this is somebody that's coming in that you meet that actually gives you this ring. Okay, a big rock. Okay, or maybe this person is just your rock. What happened here? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, especially with the bear being here. I'm hearing Pisces with that. So I'm seeing maybe a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Gemini. Or, um, yeah, that's it. That doesn't have to be it for the day, but that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's get into it. Three cards. Who's coming towards Aries? The Ace of Cups. It's love. Okay. It's somebody bringing you love. This is somebody that you have yet to meet. This could be happening over the next month. It's a new opportunity at love. We get the Four of Pentacles. Could be a four-year age difference. Like I said, you don't know this person yet. Could meet them at work with the four of pentacles being there. Um, and then we have the high priestess. Interesting. Could be a cancer, Pisces. The initials B or J could be significant. Wow. Some of you could be getting a tarot reading. This might be a tarot reader coming to you here. Because I kind of feel like if you're looking for love, I mean, that might be... The reason why you seek out, and I mean a personal reading, not necessarily listening to me or other readers on YouTube, but this is somebody that might be a bit mysterious, but they're deep, they're very spiritual. This is a very spiritual connection. This could be a past life soulmate coming back in. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to just share this with y'all really quickly. So, someone I used to date, he he works in Hollywood. He makes movies and TV shows and things like that, right? And I'm I'm for some reason it's triggered this memory of something that he said to me one day. I think I I called him or he called me and I was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm I'm sitting here writing a script." And I was like, "Oh, what is it about?" And he was like, "It's about me and you." And I was like, "Oh, tell me about it." So he was like, I'm making, I'm making this uh, movie, I'm at least writing a script anyway, about these two soulmates, about these people that found each other and they keep finding each other over and over and over again in different lifetimes, right? Now, I don't remember the rest of the conversation, but <laughs> the point is that memory got triggered for me because that's what I'm seeing here. When I look at this four of pentacles, this is like somebody that's like, I'm never going to let you go. You see how he's holding on to that pentacle? This is somebody that wants you for the long term. Um, if it's a job or something like that, it's something that could involve you using your intuition. It could involve you being like a detective, getting to the bottom of something because that's what the high priestess means. Um, she can represent. It's divine feminine energy and she's very intuitive so she could represent like a detective somebody that has to do research somebody that has to get to the bottom of cases or situations to kind of like break them wide open so i feel like though this is more about the first thing that i said for some of y'all it could be work okay 
And I feel like this is somebody that's like, maybe I lost you the last time, but I'm finding you again. This is somebody that wants to find you again. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe there's a lot of drama that you two have been through um, throughout your lifetimes together. But with this bear being here, I, I just think like this is somebody that will fight for you. This is somebody that may have a very sweet disposition, but they also have a side to them where when they want something or they care about something, it can bring out the worst in them towards anybody that tries to threaten it is what I mean. The lovers. And a strength card. Y'all, this is your cosmic plus one. This is your kingdom spouse. See, that's what I'm saying. It could be a Gemini. It says soulmates. What did I just say he said? Soulmates and karmic connections. Examine whether you are bringing your whole self to the table. And then we have yes. And look, they just got married. And this is the strength card. Compassion as a cornerstone to resolving conflicts. Do not lose hope. For some of y'all, look how this lady was getting married. But I guess he gave her a Dear John letter. Yes, it's Dear John. I'm sorry, but I cannot go through with this wedding. I should have told you before, but what? I don't know what it says after that. It's very small. But yeah, so anyway, this might be a situation, like I said, where it's like you have been with this person and, and there's this hangman energy where every time, every lifetime, if you believe in this sort of thing, every lifetime, it just seems like it doesn't work out. But the strength here is like this determination to get you. Like somebody's like, I'm coming back to claim my, my bride. What's the, the spiritual context of that when it says God is coming for his bride? I want to look that up real quick because for some reason that just popped in my head. Okay, so it says in Christian theology, the phrase God is coming for his bride refers to Jesus returning to earth for the church, which is considered his bride. Let us be glad and rejoice for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. During the rapture, Jesus will take the church to heaven for a seven year presentation period. Jesus will return to the earth with the church to celebrate the marriage supper. The Bible says that the righteous deeds of the saints are like wedding clothes for the bride. Compares the union of Christ in the church to that of a husband and wife. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely kingdom spouse energy. So I kind of feel like this is somebody that is like, I'm coming back for you. But I do see what this drama that has been like. There could be other people. I don't know. Somebody could even be two-faced here. Maybe that's something you've been through with this person. If you do already know them. I feel like it's somebody new though. With that handshake being there. But let's see. What's this Ace of Cups? Page of Swords. Nine of Wands. See, that's the stress of like, keep trying. Keep trying. Even when something may not be working. Keep trying resilience perseverance okay this could be um a libra aquarius or gemini they could be younger than you oh my god the lovers again yeah so this is very much soulmate energy that's probably why that man popped in my head about that movie he was right i wonder what ever happened to that movie <laughs> i probably pissed him off so he's he said i'm, I'm scrapping this <laughs> okay gemini energy and then the two of cups soulmate energy again so yeah this is definitely love so I feel like this is somebody ready for love. This is a very stand-up person. The Nine of Wands is a stand-up person. It's a very solid partner. They're like a humanitarian. They're the kind of person who... Um, I'm getting Watchful Sentinel when I look at that. I have a deck of cards with the Watchful Sentinel in it. So you know the Watchful Sentinel is basically somebody that would kind of like be like a tower, right? You know how you have those towers in the water? lighthouses i kind of feel like that's why this bear is standing up like this because you know bears are already big but when they stand up like that that's like a threat you know i kind of feel like this is the kind of person you're dealing with very defensive very protective over you okay so this card is all about pain and healing it's connected to um the sign of sagittarius but it's also chiron energy and chiron is about pain and healing okay so this is somebody that I feel like will go to the ends of the earth for you. I feel like this person sees you as their other half. This feels powerful. And here's that conflict. This is the energy I'm getting from the five of wands. I mean the five of wands. From the um, this energy here. There could be a Leo involved here that might be causing conflict between you two. Or this could be a Leo that, you know, yeah, divine masculine. This is your divine masculine. Even if it's a woman, Aries energy. This is your, your spiritual spouse, y'all. They don't play about you. They will fight for you. They will protect you. 
I told y'all that with the bear and the cards are coming out to, to prove it. You see how they're fighting? This is somebody that will fight for you tooth and nail. There's so much passion, chemistry, love, emotions between you two. You could already be with them. What's going? They could be kind of possessive. What's the four pentacles? King of cups and the queen of cups, baby. Whoever this person is, y'all are meant for each other. Because y'all are counterparts. Wow. And the masculine here is very sweet, but at the same time, not a pushover. Okay? If you're dealing with a woman, she's very sweet and she, she has a very open heart. This is somebody that loves you unconditionally, values you. They're your rock. They're your support system. They're your comforter. Oh, my God. The Hierophant and the Temperance. Whoa. Yes, this is your spiritual spouse. This is some kind of union here that feels like it's very peaceful. It just flows. It just flows effortlessly. This could be a Taurus, um, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Sagittarius person. Yes, I'm telling you, this is a spiritual connection. And this is the counterpart to this. These two are spiritual spouses. Mm, mm, mm. That's that past life soulmate, deep spiritual connection, a high level of commitment this person is looking for. They want marriage. Three of Wands and a Knight of Wands. Interesting. A Sagittarius on Aries. This is somebody that defends your honor. I feel like they could be at a distance for some of you. They will come and see you, though. They will chase you. They are in masculine energy and pursuit energy. They want what they want, and you are what they want. This person could be an actor. Mm -hmm. They could be an actor with these um, this mask here. I always forget the name of it. But you know, this is a drama mask. I like to educate myself. I looked it up before, but I want to know the technical name so that I can educate y'all too. Because that's I believe in teaching and learning. So let's do it together. <laughs> let's do it together. I don't know why I can't commit certain things to memory. Okay, Com comedy and tragedy. It's called the melpamine. Melpomene, M-E-L-P-O-M-E-N-E, -E -E, represents the tragedy mask of muse or muse of tragedy in the name Talia. Thalia, Talia represents comedy mask or muse of comedy. Melpo is the shorter name for melpomene, meaning a celebration of dance and song. Hmm. Okay. What's the high priestess? Oh my God, this is your twin flame. You got the nine of wands again and the four of wands. See, I'm not, I just heard, we must protect this house. I don't know if y'all ever heard. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever heard that, but I believe that's a Ray Lewis quote. Ray Lewis is a Taurus. Um, so you could be on an Aries Taurus cusp or you could be connected to a, or attracting a Taurus. Because instantly when I saw this, you could also be seeing 1111. This is a twin flame, y'all. You get so many soulmate cards. Oh my God. Yeah, so look, this is your card, Aries energy, and then you have Sagittarius here. So I heard you, we must protect this house because that's exactly what I see. Whoever this person is, they're very protective, extremely protective over you and the connection. And I feel like um, maybe these two faces are, look, I can be serious. I can be sweet. Like I could be a little teddy bear or I could get up on my hind legs. And it's going to be a problem. And I might put that other face on that ain't so funny. That's what I'm getting from this person. So, well, I said somebody could be an actor and you get the six of wands, which can be being famous, being in the spotlight here with the seven of swords. Yeah, they could act in dramas. Um, this could be like a dramatic actor. This person could have a theatrical, a theater or whatever background. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we must protect this house. That is what I believe Ray Lewis used to say. Now, y'all know, I got to look everything up because I don't like being wrong about stuff. And then you always got the, you know, the critics that like to leave comments. And I don't have any problem with anybody telling me something I don't know. But I'm talking about when people just be petty, saying dumb stuff like, shut up, please. <laughs> Let's see. We must protect this house. It used to be on a lot of the NFL commercials, but I believe it's Ray Lewis. I believe it. I could be wrong. Okay, it says a metaphor for everything a young athlete and their teammates protect. 
themselves, each other, their families, their friends, and where they come from. I told you, somebody here is very protective over you. And the Knight of Wands is a protector. The Knight of Wands is somebody that defends your honor. They will fight for you. I kind of feel like this person is coming in as, I want to say a guide so bad. I mean, the, the Hierophant can be a guide, the Temperance card. Like, I kind of feel like this person is a guide, but in a sense, almost like to protect you. Like, they're your shield of protection. You know what I'm saying? A person that's really good at thinking on their feet here. And I feel like for some of you, they have a theatrical background or maybe they are an athlete. He is an athlete. And it did talk about, like I said, we must protect this house, especially if it's a Sagittarius. I'm getting, I don't know who says it, y'all, because I don't see anybody. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe it wasn't Ray Lewis. I don't know. I can't find it. But anyway, let's see what else. We got the Nine of Cups. <laughs> That's a comedian card. The person could be a comedian. And that is, like I said, drama and comedy. So your person feels like this could definitely be somebody in the spotlight. You got a lot of nines here. I feel like your person might be somewhat of a loner until they meet you. And then you're like their, their counterpart. So it just works. Queen and King of Cups. Like you two understand each other. You get each other on an emotional level and on a spiritual level. And this is why you have this symbiotic relationship. You're this person's other half. That's why you got all that soulmate energy and twin flame energy all over the place the lovers the lovers you know what i'm saying like it's everywhere this is nice because some of you just could even be a business partner if you don't want if you don't want love okay what's the nine of cups this is happy energy with the king of swords what did i say i can put on my poker face my serious face don't play with me face but i can also laugh and joke and have a good time that's basically what this is could be an Aquarius or Pisces or somebody on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. Yep. That's what I see for you. Six of Swords, the world. I'm telling you, this could be somebody who wants to travel the world with you. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn. Mm hmm. Somebody attractive, confident. Could be at a distance. Might meet them online. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing, y'all. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.